In this video, I am going to be going over on the Transcendent VMS 2.0. This is going to be the light version and how to add DVRs to it. So I went ahead and opened up. Username is default admin. Password is default 123456. Go ahead and log in. And there are several ways of doing this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go through each uh, example. So we're going to click on Home. Under Resource Management, you're going to click on Add, Edit, or Delete Devices. So I am going to click on Add. And this is going to scan my local network. As you can see, I have several devices. I am going to go ahead and select my 32-channel uh, 32, 32 MVR. So go ahead and highlight it click a check mark and while we're doing this I could also create an area here for it so I am gonna call it my uh, local NVR and I wanna set it to there that's where I wanna send this device go ahead and click OK uh, it's gonna take a few seconds for it to recognize over the VMS And now it's con it's connected. It let's me know what model it is. Let's me know what the version of my MVR is running. And if I go to live, and let me select a 16 view grid. Here's my MVR. Uh, now I can either select, left click, hold, drag, and drop individual cameras, or I could take the entire group, left click, hold, drag, and drop and I'll load all of them. So this is how you would do the local connection. So let me close this view. I do not want to save it. And now we're going to add an external uh, device. So we're going to go to Home. Again, under Resource Management, Add, Edit, or Delete Devices. Add. And this time I want to manually add. I want to select, I'm going to do an external IP address, 76, 81. Uh, the port is going to be your server port. Uh, usually it's defaulted to 6036, but for my example, it's a different port. And the password is defaulted 123456, but for this example, it's a different uh, password. Uh, click connection to test to see if your uh, everything was a success which it is and again I could uh, load it into my local MVR or into the root or default area I am going to create an area and I'm going to call it uh, Vitec NVR click OK select the area and then go ahead and click OK. So now this is going to connect. So now this lets me know what model I'm running. My uh, Vitec MVR is a TNR1616F and it's running firmware 134. If I want to view it, click on this plus sign and again I could left click hold drag individual cameras or I could take the entire name group and left click hold and drag and drop so here's my MVR with an external IP now the third example I am gonna close this up I do not want to save it go to home again resource management add edit or delete device add and this time manually add and this time I am going to change it to a NAT serial number so my NAT serial number and N. 
and you do not need to put a port when you're using a NAT serial number and password uh, usually it's defaulted to one two three four five six but for our demo it is changed uh, click connection to test the connection offline did I enter it wrong zero two oh yes I did I added one too many digits connection success okay so now again you can select what area you want to set it to or you can create your own area uh, this time I'm gonna call it Vitek DVR, click OK, select it, and click OK. And there it is. Uh, my DVR is a TR5 HA410 and it's running firmware 126. So now if I want to view it, click on this plus sign and here it is. Again, I could left click, hold and drag individual channels or I could take the entire uh, group and drag and, drag and drop. So that's how you would uh, load or um, devices using your resource management under add edit or delete and we went through them click on add and again quickly add is your local network manually add and under IP you can select the external IP you could do a domain name which is a DDNS I will cover that later and serial number which is your NAT thank you